again. Hi, Jean. Hi, Jill. Hi, Vinky. Good morning. The gift of Christ is all I see today. Hey, Denise. The gift of Christ is all I see today. Hey, Denise. Denise, thank you for that beautiful work of art that you've done on my sister. Absolutely beautiful. I'm very excited to give that to her as a Christmas gift. Denise is an amazing artist and I asked her to do a painting of my sister after the one that she had made for me that was really stunning. Um, okay. The gift of Christ is all I seek today. What but Christ's vision would I use today when it can offer me a day in which I see a world so like to heaven that an ancient memory returns to me? Today I can forget the world I made. Today I can go past all fear and be restored to love and holiness and peace. Today I am redeemed and born anew into a world of mercy and of care, of loving kindness and the peace of God. And so, our Father, we return to you, remembering we never went away, remembering your holy gifts to us. In gratitude and thankfulness, we come with empty hands and open hearts and minds, asking but what you give. We cannot make an offering sufficient for your Son, but in your love, the gift of Christ is his. I love those little sunflowers, Marianne. Thank you. Mm. Okay. Let me bring forth that thing. Hmm. Greetings, beloved ones. We have but one choice, one conscious will, and in that divine design, we have two choices to make. We have a choice to make for love. We have a choice to make for an action that will bring us closer to another. Or we have a choice for fear. Fear that becomes anger, fear that becomes rage, fear that becomes jealousy, fear that becomes judgment. Fear that becomes anger. All of this, this cascade of emotions, this landscape is brought forth through will, beloved. You have also, at each and every moment, the choice to choose the gift of the Christ. And the gift of the Christ is love. Brought forth through forgiveness, through forgiving yourselves, when you have made a choice that is anything other than love. Beings have been designed to express love, and yet somewhere in the design, an entire civilization, an entire culture of fear has been brought forth. Beloveds, I am here with the very, very good news. 
that you have within you, the ability and the power and the consciousness to make the choice for love. You will at times wish that you had not said the words that you've said in anger. You will at times wish that instead you had led with your heart. And what you can do, beloved, is to forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for your lapses. Forgive yourself for the moments in which you have chosen hatred and separation and rage and destruction rather than connection. For forgiveness is all that you can do. When you make this choice to forgive, you are immediately reconciled. You are immediately absolved. What is recommended, beloveds, is to then go back and look at the trigger points and choose the way of Christ. Choose the way of love. Choose to make amends, and who you are making amends to is yourself. It will feel at times like a pressure valve that needs to be released. Call upon guidance, beloveds, and say, I am caught, I am mired. My ego would rather be right than to open my heart and feel the pain because I have chosen something other than love. But there will always be a moment of reconciling. There will always be a moment of coming forth and saying, ah, I made a decision for something that was not love. I made a decision to blame. I made a decision to fear. I made a decision to forget. For indeed, when you allow yourself to remember, ah, uh, there is such a sweetness in this. When you look upon another and say, this is a being that I love and I have merely forgotten. Hello, total stranger, I am remiss for I have forgotten how much I love you. Hello, husband, hello, wife. Hello, mother, hello, father, hello, sister, hello, brother, hello, son, hello, daughter, hello, friend. I've forgotten how much I loved you because I have forgotten how much I loved myself. And in the moment that you are willing to remember that only love is real, you remember that truly what you feel is love for all beings. Most importantly, what you allow yourself to remember is that what you truly feel for yourself is love. So look upon the darkness and know that when you are connected to another who will provoke within you your shadow, this being loves you enough to allow the shadow to come to the surface to be revealed so that the light can be brought in and deep appreciation and gratitude for all beings that you have called forth that are your most beloved friends and allies. To say, I must have decided wrongly because I am not at peace. Know that there is always forgiveness that is afoot. You need only recognize the moments when you have become unhinged. And you can rely on the love of God and the peace of God and of the Christ consciousness to always be at your avail. So seek the gift that is inherent within a Christ of mind, within a Christ of being, that you remember the love and that you allow everything that is not the love to come to the surface for the divine healing and revelation. You have made many decisions, beloveds, along the way to choose fear. And here you are being offered the ability to choose love. Choose love in all circumstances, in all moments. Your desire as a creation of the very breath of life is to live within a landscape of love. This may be hard to do when you have forgotten when you feel your sadness, when your emotions are roiling and boiling and spinning everywhere. 
Allow yourself to remember the love, beloveds. It is there. You need only bring yourself to a moment of stillness. And you need only take a breath. As God breathes in, and then upon his exhale, he creates an I am presence. That is the presence of a Christ of being. <laughs> this is your divine birthright, beloved one. Allow yourself the remembrance. Forgive yourself for your actions and your words. Know that only love is real. Rest upon that truth. And that truth shall indeed set you free. You are the blessing. All that you meet are your blessings as well. Treat them with love and kindness. Know that they are merely a reflection of your own mind. So allow your mind to be connected to the Christ mind. And here you shall indeed find your freedom and your salvation. Know that you are loved. Every aspect of you, including your shadow, beloveds, is loved. It is merely a dance that you have chosen to do. And you will end the dance one day. And you will say, I choose to live as Christ. This is assured. Blessings to you, beloved ones. Blessings to you always. And I will speak with you again. Hmm. Hi, Lorianne. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you. I will see you all later. Bye, everybody.